Oh, what do you think in your home? Well, I just heard a phrase that said, when, you're, when your bow is in the trees, you're running out of seas. <laughs> That's the new bowsprit that Bud Taplin made for me. I was in the slip a second ago. We did a dry fit and then we moved the boat out of that slip and broadside dock with this sailboat here so that they could launch this boat real quick. After it's out, we're gonna go back into the slip and put the bowsprit on. I'll be really happy when this day is over and the bowsprit's on. Forty-two feet. Yeah, then you better butter it up. This is gonna be a mess. Yeah. It'll be fun to clean this off. Here we are on Tuesday, June 26, 231 in the afternoon at Sailcraft Service in Oriental North Carolina. This is Bo, the boatyard dog. Hello. And this is Paragon, my Wessel 42, which we are just about to haul out of the water. We just put the mask on and we uh, ran into a whole bunch of problems there. Oh, hey, I don't know if you can see that. There's this big round rainbow around the sun. Can you see that? Right over the mast. I'm taking that as a good sign. <laughs> That's cool. 
It is so wonderful to have the mast back on the boat. So we ran into some problems with the back stay. We replaced all of the standing rigging and I guess we came up a little bit short on the back stay when we replicated it. But it's not going to be that hard to fix because I've got an insulated back stay there with Norseman fittings on each side. So we just need to lengthen the wire underneath the insulator there down to where it connects to the turnbuckle on the stern, which is like five or six feet of wire, not the entire thing. So we've got a halyard tensioned on the stern to keep the mast up. <laughs> and now we're about to haul out. It's been over two years since I sailed into Oriental, North Carolina, plot myself down here to stay for a while and do renovations and repairs to Paragon. So much work has been done to her over the past two years. There's still so much more to go, but also during the past two years I met Monique and she has moved aboard and now we are sailing together. She is my partner in crime and fellow videographer for the Drake Paragon channel. placement of the slings on a Westdale 42 are right there, just forward of the forward port of the aft cabin. And then the forward sling goes right about where the forward big port is in the galley. We also replaced the bowsprit and pulpit, a brand new one made by Bud Taplin out in California, trucked all the way across the country to North Carolina. Oh my god, here we go! We are coming out of the water! Bottom looks pretty dirty. When you put the forward sling right where the aft uh, chain plate is, then it connects to just where the full keel starts to go down. Could maybe go a little more aft. <laughs> but that's probably okay. Huh. Rudder doesn't look too happy there. Looks like something scraped along the bottom of the rudder there. Either that or it's some sort of big crack, I don't know. Yeah, right. I don't understand why there isn't more growth. Anchored for some months, like in Venezuela or, or you know, the Caribbean islands, I'd have like barnacles the size of mountains. The zinc is gone. What the hell happened here? This cause for much concern. That is probably really bad. I wonder how that happened. What the hell is that? I don't know. Why is it there? <laughs> it's probably the through hole I'm guessing it is. No, it's not. Oh, it's not? No, that's just a sink frame. That's for, that's for the galley sink. Oh, well, this is a sink. Huh. Do you know how much she weighs? Uh, 30,000 here and 8,000 there, so 38,000. 38,000. Wow. Yeah. That's where you want to pick it up, because once you're past the bulb, yeah. and once you're on the incline... Just a little bit on the incline, and then, yeah, problem. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to 
to go that route unless yep. you double tied. So I double tied it anyway. Yep. You know, you yep. saw me. Yep. That's so if I got in the radius, I, I wouldn't be sweating bullets the whole time it was going up. Well, Looks like there's damage to my rudder. I hope I don't want to shoot myself in the head. Do you want to take a look at it? <laughs> Let's wash it. Yeah. Yeah, I see some cracks. It just would have taken, I guess, one time uh, bumping or bouncing on the bottom. Yeah. You know, even in the slip down here. I know a guy that has a Westfield 42 that really disagreed with the design of the rudder being so low. Like if you're running aground the and then the, the keel's like in the mud or whatever. So what he did, what he actually did was he cut it off like that. Yeah. Just like where I did that and then re-glassed it. Do you think that's a good idea? <laughs> well, I mean, I understand your logic. Yeah. Um, if you've got anecdotal information that says that that worked and it didn't reduce the steering ability, then I, I guess that would be something that you could think about doing. Just a little bit off the bottom. It looks really big, doesn't it? She looks beautiful. She's just muscular. Well, doesn't she look big? Yeah. That's fine. She looks proud. <laughs> List of projects that we have while the boats on the heart include changing four seacocks with new ones, adding a new uh, knot meter depth and, and temperature uh, transducer, painting the bottom, a little bit of painting on the top sides, painting the bootstripe, sanding the propeller down putting zinc back on and now it looks like we, uh, we're going to have to do some fiberglass repair to the rudder so maybe we'll be out for a month. It's really no fun living in the boat on the harbor but that's what we're going to do. It looks like we chose like the hottest time of year to do it. Um, I saw a weather report that said we might have a 100 degree day coming up and when we're on the hard, we don't have air conditioning because the, the air conditioning that I installed requires being in the water for its cooling system. It pumps water from outside of the boat through the air conditioner for it to work. So being on the hard, we, uh, we don't have air conditioning. We're gonna move her to her new space on the hard, which is right over here. Here it is. Here's our new home. At least it's pretty convenient to the marina's pool right there. So after a long day of working on the boat on the hard, we'll be able to just go over here and jump in this pool. Looking forward to that very much. What do you think of your new home? Well, I just heard a phrase that said, when, you're, when your bow is in the trees, you're running out of seas. <laughs> and today, we're going to launch her in the water. 8,000 on the back legs. I thought I would give you a little glimpse. I decided to replace it with a chain starboard brace there. Use a router tool to cut into the point connection right here. The output for the galley sink. Rockna 73 pound anchor. Furuno radar. Made by a company called Airmar. Propeller. Forward scanning sonar. Combustion air exhaust. Engine saltwater intake. Turn this rudder. It's pretty wide. <laughs> 